Let's spend about 10 minutes talking Kansas State football, basketball, and recruiting on KSO Today, a free daily podcast brought to you by K-State Online. Good morning at K-State Online. You're listening to KSO Today. I'm Derek Young. This is the second edition of that has been uh, hosted by me, and I won't be back probably for about another week. Today is January 29th. It is a Wednesday. Kansas State basketball back to action later tonight when they play the Oklahoma Sooners. So something to be on the look for on the site on K-State Online on the front page or on the message board. Look for Matt Hall's preview and prediction of what he anticipates will unfold tonight between the Wildcats and the Sooners. A couple other items to keep in mind here at K-State Online. Uh, Recruiting notebook published this morning. Obviously not going to give the goods on this podcast or anything of that nature, but I will uh, advertise a little bit of what is inside that in case you are interested enough in you know, making the plunge and becoming a member of K State Online, uh, you'll you'll get the you know the very latest on Clemson defensive tackle transfer Xavier Kelly. Of course, he was a product from Wichita East High School at, and at one point was committed to the Wildcats before flipping to Clemson and spending his career with Brent Venables and Dabo Sweeney. So the very latest on him and and what's there or isn't there between Kelly and K State. Um, Pretty big visitor in the class of 2021 will be on campus February 1st. We have the news on who that is inside the notebook as well. More information regarding our trip to Denver, Colorado, where we saw and met with Highlands Ranch four-star quarterback commit Jake Rubley. Um, Great trip. More info on that, of course. And and just some more information on the walk-ons that continue to be added and that will arrive in Manhattan over the summer specifically some notes on Chanute, uh, Chanute, Kansas athlete Ty Bowman, who's going to walk on with Kansas State. So all that in the recruiting notebook. Um, still the video, if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to do so. The, our recruiting interview with Jake Rubley as we made the trip to Denver to see Kansas State's four-star quarterback commit. Uh and lastly, before we dive into some things, uh, we are going to make another trip in terms of recruiting coverage, and it will be guided or leaning more towards the basketball side of things as we'll travel to St. Louis for February 19th and February 20th, and we'll be meeting with and watching their games of Kansas State basketball commits Davion Bradford and Luke Kasubke. So that is something to certainly be excited for and probably worth getting a membership at K-State Online if you haven't done so already. Now let's get into some of the nuts and bolts of today's KSO Today. Uh, Signing day is actually a week from today for football, the late signing period, which has pretty much become uh, all but a formality at this point. Um, It doesn't have the same luster as it once did. The real signing day is in December. But I think you'll see the Wildcats sign at least three guys. Um, It'll be... Three guys currently committed to Kansas State at offensive lineman Hadley Panzer. I think he will be announced um, a week from today, as well as Manhattan offensive lineman Sam Shields and Lee Summit defensive end Felix Anadike. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that last name. We'll find out soon, but I imagine those three, actually, I expect those three to sign with K-State a week from today. Now, will there be more? Could be. I think it would be a little bit of a surprise, um, I think outside of those three were probably concentrated or they're the coaching staff in Manhattan will probably is probably concentrated more on transfers, how they can make an impact this year or next year, whether they be of the graduate transfer variety or sit out transfer. I don't know, but I think that's where you'll see uh, the bulk of the additions from now until later at this point. Uh, well, let's get into the class of 2021 at this point. Uh, some general information for recruiting, football recruiting, of course. Uh, Bo Stevens offered, uh, obviously he's a 
high three-star on rivals. Offensive tackle from Blue Springs High School has been a major Kansas State target for some time. He uh, visited for camp last summer where he got his offer from Chris Kleiman. Uh, they saw him at the Lindemann camp in St. Louis. He visited for two games in the fall. Started to really hear some positive chatter regarding him. Uh, he was offered by Michigan earlier this week, in addition to making a pretty, what seemed like a pretty positive visit to Missouri, a school that had probably dropped down his list significantly after the, the entire coaching transition that took place in Columbia. So it, it, at the very least, and we'll probably have more information regarding inside information in a notebook in the future regarding Bo Stevens and how his recruitment is progressing. But at the very least, uh, at least on this podcast, we can say that it's at least getting a little bit more challenging to land him. And but Kansas State is still, you know, very thick in the mix for his services. And I would be surprised if he's not on campus in the near future. Another prospect that Kansas State loves is running back Devin Neal, of Lawrence High School. Um, another, you know, pretty high three-star prospect. And if you listen and or have watched the Jake Rubley video, you know that he's one of the prospects that, or Devin Neal's one of the prospects that Rubley talks to often and is trying to convince, persuade to come to Manhattan like him. So that's, that's interesting. He's already visited Kansas and Nebraska this month. Um, just picked up an Iowa offer. He is going to be the toughest Kansas recruit to land, but again, K State in the mix on that one. Typically, we do have a lot more inside information regarding his recruitment at K State online behind behind the paywall, of course. So another reason to become a member K State online. Jaden Williams, running back from Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, he was the second and last so far uh, running back for Kansas State to offer in the class of 2021. He goes to Valley High School, a pretty Big powerhouse in terms of Iowa high school football. Um, he had a big playoff game against another powerhouse, Bettendorf, where he kind of put his name on a map. Uh, Kansas State is the first and so far only Power 5 school to offer. Um, it'll be interesting how they decipher or delve back and forth between Neil and Williams, of course. Uh, Jaden Williams visited Kansas State yesterday. So, uh not sure how many running backs will take. They've taken quite a bit the last two years, so they're going to have the luxury of being pretty picky, and they got two really good ones already interested in coming to Manhattan at some point. I think uh, one more noteworthy football recruiting item to at least cover at this point would probably be offensive lineman Austin Weiner. Weiner. Um, Another offense, another prospect that was mentioned by Jake Rubley in terms of someone that he's trying to convince to come to Manhattan. It's probably not premium information to say that Rubley probably doesn't have to do a whole lot of convincing. Uh, we would all be surprised if Weiner didn't end up a wildcat. Um, that was probably reinforced by him moving from Milton, Georgia, an Atlanta suburb, to Gardner Edgerton High School, a suburb of Kansas City, Kansas. So... Uh, that'll make it much easier to uh, grab Austin Weiner in the class of 2021. Of course, he is a Kansas State legacy. His father, Todd Weiner, played off as a lineman for Bill Snyder at Kansas State. So um, that's another probably hard lean for to the Wildcats at this point in the class of 2021. In terms of recruiting information in general, that's probably all that's kind of simmering at the surface at this point. Uh, basketball recru recruiting is clearly still um, operating at m definitely more than a snail's pace. Uh, maybe we thought it would be at a snail's pace at this point when they put together their signing class initially, but they are going to add uh, even more. Of course, Donovan Williams, a high schooler from Nebraska, is certainly a major target still as well. Maybe keep in mind someone like Kobe Clark from Vashon High School. Um and they already added Casey Eziagu, you know, since they put together their signing class, and he's on campus right now. So they're they're pretty active, uh, of course. The basketball staff, Bruce Weber, Chris Lowry, and company, and and there we probably do expect another signee or two to come Kansas State's way. It'll be a per, their biggest class since you know KSO's at least existed. It's a bigger class than you normally put together in terms of a basketball. 
We'll probably wrap it on that again. Keep in mind, if you're not a member, consider it, especially since we're going to be making another recruiting trip that should provide you know, great coverage as we go see Luke Suzuki and Davion Bradford. Uh, obviously, there'll be coverage for those that aren't subscribers, but there'll be even more for those that are, and, and we encourage you to do so. Uh, we always say, tell your friends at K-State Online. Today's January 29th. And that is your edition of KSO Today.